The NHL and its Players Union are in agreement on a plan to complete the 2019-2020 season. In an announcement Tuesday, Commissioner Gary Bettman said the league will conclude its regular season and immediately start the Stanley Cup playoffs. 24 of the league's 31 teams will qualify for the tournament, which will start no earlier than July. Hockey has been out of action since March 12th because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's bring in Pete Blackburn from Boston now. He is a hockey writer for CBS Sports. Welcome, Pete. Great to have you with us. So I'll have you know both of my boys play hockey and are huge hockey fans, so they're really glad to hear this news. Tell us a little bit more about the plan. Well, it's going to be a 2014 playoff. They're going to end the regular season. It's officially ended already. Uh, and so they're going to move to a 2014 playoff, which is up from the regular 16 team format. They're including eight additional teams in a play in round uh, to kind of expand the, the playoff format and to make up for the lost games during the regular season. So uh, it's, it's a different experience. It's going to be a, a unique playoff for sure. Uh, I'm not totally sure uh, how I feel about uh, 24 teams. That's a large percentage of the league. But is, if it means that we get hockey back, I'm all for it. Do you think then it is pretty much the fairest way to determine a champion given the unprecedented situation? Well, I think there's always going to be an unpredictability factor, uh, especially with the, you know, the break between action is going to be at least two, three months between uh, between meaningful games. So there's an unpredictability factor there. And I think it especially applies to the play in round because that's going to be a, a five game series. And there's going to be teams that may not have made the playoffs regularly who could have a chance to advance to the round of 16. So, um, you know, but it, when you're talking about fairness, I think the best way to do it is the best way to legitimize these playoffs is to make them as normal as possible. And at the end of the day, there's going to be a 16 team round and a 16 team format. Uh, with hopefully a best of seven series all the way through. They're undecided whether it's going to be best of five or best of seven in the first few rounds. But I think if you can do best of seven with a round of 16, that's the best way to get it to normal and the best way to legitimize this year's Stanley Cup playoffs. And of course, we've seen other sports, particularly baseball, struggle to come up with a deal between the league and the players union. Why do you believe hockey seemed to get it done so quickly? Well, the NHL had the luxury of being pretty much complete, uh, pretty close to complete with the regular season. So their salaries had been paid out. They already have a revenue sharing plan in place. Um, so they didn't have the financial difficulties that baseball has. Uh, they also had the luxury of the players and owners being on the same page. You know, the players prefer the 20 team, uh, 24 team format because it expanded the number of players that'll have a chance to compete for the Stanley Cup. And those players wanted that. The players that were on the playoff bubble, they didn't want to be uh, you know, given an unfortunate end to the season based on an early, uh, early regular season end. So that expanded. Uh, and, and you look at the owners, the owners wanted that too because it gives them a chance uh, to get additional revenue and to satisfy their TV deals uh, with that additional, with those additional eight teams and the, the play-in round. So uh, it ended up working out pretty well in terms of both sides being in harmony. All right. Well, Pete Blackburn, thank you so much. I know hockey fans everywhere are pretty excited about this news, so thanks for telling us about it. Thanks for having me.